tequila making distilled from a specific type of agave plant has been happening since the 16th century. These days, if you want some tequila, maybe to honor National Tequila Day coming up, you've got a lot of options for sure. Marshall Ballantyne is here from Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar. Talk about it. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? Thanks for having me, guys. Good. I'm glad you're here. Um, first of all, tequila can be used in a lot of different ways, a lot of different styles. What are some of your favorites? So uh, I'd have to say my favorite is a simple, neat tequila, but a yeah. Bloody Maria or Tequila Sunrise is quite delicious. All right. No shortage of, of our options and no shortage of recipes. At Shuck and Shack, you make an interesting one. It's called the Salt Marsh Tequila. How do you describe that? I'd say it's simple and natural ingredients to just really give that beach vibe back to you. Yeah. And, we'll, and so show us how you make it. Walk through the, the ingredients and how we put it together. All right. So we're going to start with the Lunazel, and we do this in here. I already have some ice in the other end of this shaker cup. We're going to add some Contraire, mm -hmm. followed by your two orange slices, two lemon slices, and two lime slices. We're going to muddle those real quick for you. Make sure they're nice and mashed up in that cup. Excellent. After you do this, Good we're going to go in and, and add a splash, just a splash, of simple syrup. Okay. We're going to put this with the ice in there. Get out a nice shake. Gonna set that there. And then what you can do is add your ice to your already salted rim cup. Mm -hmm. As such. Now you're gonna grab your strainer, or you can just simply flip the cup over. Pour that over your ice here. It's gonna bring it up to right underneath right there where you're gonna add your soda water. It's gonna give it, it's gonna cut that sharpness down just a little bit. Excellent. Make sure you leave a little bit of a gap there because we're gonna add a top shelf Grand Marnier floater right over the top there. Beautiful. You're gonna finish it with two orange slices and one lime wedge. And that, my friends, is a salt marsh margarita from Shuck and Shack. I love it. And that salt marsh margarita is just one of the many uh, crafted cocktails that you have there at Shuck and Shack. Talk to us about the relaxing environment that you have. People love to be your regulars, don't they? Uh, no, most definitely. We have people that come every day. At Shuck and Shack, like, we try to provide just a, a relaxing beach time environment to give uh -huh. you that sense of being on vacation. And it's really worked out for us. We have a lot of repeat customers. Yeah, and it really does. There's a beachy feel. People are relaxing. In there. There's a Shuck and Shack location by our station here on Pelham Road, and then another one in Easley that's brand new, and people are just loving that too, right? Absolutely. Um, I've been at both, yep. and I've worked at both, so great. you know, come, and see, come on down and see us at Shuck and Shack. Yep, great place to check out on National Tequila Day or any other day as well. Marshall, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Margaret.